There have been some very, very weird sports games that have been made. You got a game starring Michael Jordan where you're dribbling around killing spiders and zombies. You got a Kinect game, remember that? that stars a pitcher who throws baseballs at demonic hordes of enemies. But this game is probably the most out there concept, Jerry Rice and Nidus's dog football. Now let's just take a second to comprehend this. Jerry Rice and Nidus's dog football. A game where dogs are being controlled by some stereotype or caricature to play football and do other dog stuff. Okay, what's the deal with this game? And why is NFL Hall of Fame wide receiver Jerry Rice involved in this? Trying to find information on this game is surprisingly rough. Okay, there aren't gonna be any more dog puns, sorry. Looking at Jerry Rice's Wikipedia page, there's only one sentence about it. And the game itself doesn't even have a Wikipedia page. The developer behind the game is called Judo Baby. The guys behind such great games such as... Jerry Rice and Nidus' dog football. Heading over to Judo Baby's website is like a blast from the past because this website design is so 2000s it made me think of the movie Shark Tale. Checking out their game section, they haven't made anything else. Although they do have a game in development called Dino Dogs which stars former NFL running back Marshawn Lynch. What is with this weird combination of using former NFL athletes and dogs? Well, let's hope they don't use Michael Vick in a future game. Anyway, Jerry Rice did some promotion interviews to try and sell the game and he is completely dumbfounded on how to do so well you know Jerry Rice and Nidus football is about my dog and and myself and the thing is you know we wanted to uh, along with judo baby we wanted to uh, and uh, you know and uh, you know from uh, you can go to uh, GameStop you know to uh, you know pick the game up and with this game here, uh, you know, females, they can actually play also. The graphics, that's, you know, that's really what this is all about. Oh, the, the graphics are the selling point? <laughs> the graphics are good. Oh, okay. Family, 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 family. I am so proud of our team at Judo Baby for the high quality football that they have put into this game and for creating a fun experience for the whole family and their pets. Oh, your your pets can enjoy it too? Wanna play Jerry Rice and Nidus' dog football? Come on, they said even animals can play, come on. We'll be looking for you. That's the most threatening thing I've heard all year. In terms of the actual game, the main mode you'll be spending time in is season mode, with the goal being to win a bunch of games to eventually win the Golden Hydrant. When playing a game, you'll notice one thing, and that's... The graphics. That's, you know, that's really what this is all about. But you also notice how terrible the control is. This was initially a Wii game that was ported over to PC. So you have to use the mouse to guide this dog bone cursor and the dog will head over in that direction, kinda. Trying to move like this is a little unpredictable and sometimes you don't even know where you're gonna go. It's like, it's like, it's like trying to control a dog, actually. I guess they got me there. Throwing the ball is as simple as a left click when the dog barks. It's all yours! There are some variables, like you can give your dog a treat and that gives them higher catch probability or it makes them harder to tackle. Honestly, I do have to give credit with some things. There are 12 different fields to play on and they're actually all different. They're not just the same field with just a different set dressing like you'll find on so many other football games. Each field has different things to hop on, run through, or run under. There are even exclusive paths to take for smaller dogs. You can also run with a human quarterback who, by the way, is very annoying. But they can't do all the things a dog can do. You can even find presents, which contain certain cosmetics or other items. It's also cute to watch the dogs goof around at the end of each quarter. <laughs> Another thing is ARF points. 
Going to these obstacles gives you ARF points. When scoring a touchdown, you have an option of kicking it in for half the ARF points you acquired on the drive, which by the way, I think my kicking meter was glitched or something. That or maybe my PC just can't handle the graphics. Or you could try and pass it in for all of the ARF points you acquired on the drive. This opens up some strategy, believe it or not, especially if you're behind. I'd love to see some newer arcade football games try and use these elements, especially the obstacle elements, because in every football game, all the fields are essentially the same. It could give some much needed variety. It's also pretty cute that you can adopt dogs and dress them up. Once you get past the novelty, the game gets pretty old pretty fast. Playing defense with these controls is the exact opposite of a good time. The characters are all forgettable and annoying, except this guy who's totally supposed to be Fat Bastard from Austin Powers. Get in my end zone. The music can be ear piercingly bad. Stop that arf attempt. The only fun I had with it was running out in the open field and interacting with the previously mentioned obstacles. The fact that the PC version doesn't even have a normal controls and just mimics the Wii's motion controls with the mouse should be a federal offense, honestly. It just shows how completely lazy this port job was. If you're gonna port a game over to PC, have the decency to give us a real control scheme. Can you imagine holding your arm up and moving around with the motion controls while playing this? You could pick up any football game that was released in the last 40 years and it would control better. Yes, even Bugs vs. Daffy in the big game. At least the game has cheat codes, but these are the lamest cheat codes in video game history. Now this cheat code here, this cheat code lets you watch the credits. This cheat lets you watch a CPU versus CPU game. In what way is that a cheat? And this one lets you pick a generic football field. So you know the one main thing I praised the game about? Well, now you can use a cheat code to take that away. These are cheats in the same way as you getting socks for Christmas. I want to dispel this notion that the pre-release videos keep bringing up, and likely something that a lot of people watching might bring up as well. This game's for kids, so it's fine, right? Well, no. Just because something is meant for the younger demographic doesn't mean you could just fling out any mediocre shovelware and it's automatically fine. Kids' standards are lower, that's true, but kids still have taste. Ever wonder why Spongebob is popular and not something like, I don't know, Coconut Fred? despite the two shows being very similar? Because kids aren't knuckle-dragging goofs with no thoughts of their own. This could be the best new game for a child who loves dogs but not sports dad but wants them desperately to Hey man, you want to know how I got into football? I actually played Madden. That's right, and admittedly I didn't understand the intricacies of the sport of football, but I understood that you needed to get the ball in the end zone. Despite the weird nature of the concept of dogs playing football, I have nothing against that. I'm just tired of people using the it's meant for kids argument to excuse a bad piece of media. After the release of Jerry Rice and Ninus's dog football, the game is sort of a meme. The only legacy that this game has left behind is being a meme in a couple of Donkey's videos and the annual Puppy Bowl that the new Legacy Inc. boys do. The developer Judo Baby received $4.2 million in backing from shareholders. I guess you could see how they got Jerry Rice to be a part of this now. It's all about the graphics. That's, you know, that's really what this is all about. Judo Baby created the PSL, a league that mixes both pets and sports, with dog football being the only game that has been made, and the game is over a decade old now. Like I mentioned earlier, Judo Baby was working on a game called Dino Dogs, but the game was scheduled for a 2018 release, and uh, much like the dinosaurs themselves, the game is probably extinct. <laughs> It's not officially cancelled though, so who knows. It seems like they had big plans for these pet games and this pet league, but this development studio has been MIA since Charlie Sheen dropped the Tiger Blood interview. Winning 
I went here and I went there. Overall, Jerry Rice and Nidus' dog football is just a novel concept that's largely mediocre as a whole. I very much still recommend checking it out because it only costs $3. That's less than a meal at like McDonald's. You spend $3 on coffee every day anyway, so replace coffee with Jerry Rice. The most important thing here is not the dogs, Judo Baby, Jerry Rice, Nidus, you, me, or this video. It's the graphics. That's, you know, that's really what this is all about. And I think it's a great concept. The graphics are good and you can go to uh, GameStop, you know, to, uh, you know, pick the game up. So it's a fun game. You should try it out.